The situation right now, though, of course, remains very difficult, and it's of huge concern to us. We keep on repeating the message by the Secretary General. We keep repeating that we need an immediate cessation of hostilities. We need a political process to find a solution to the crisis, and we need a humanitarian pause so that we can go in with our convoys to the, as we have done in the past. To see all this interest. Now, what I would like to propose is that we have significant needs in this area. We know this is a population in great need. We know it's a population that is highly vulnerable. But it's also a fact right now on the ground that we do not have the opportunities, for safety reasons, to reach those populations with our cross border convoys from Jordan. And I'm continuously saying with always the full cooperation with it of the Jordanian partners. So our biggest concern right now and our biggest ask is to allow us to move in via Tal Shihab to the west of the governorate for us to then go further north, if possible, to reach the populations that we know are in greatest needs as, as we, we speak. As the situation remains very unpredictable and very much in flux, for us to provide any specific figures is extremely difficult. The only thing that we know is that we have a very high number of IDPs throughout the Southwest. We know that we have a large concentration of IDPs moving towards Kunetra and the Golan Heights, and we know that we had people moving towards the Jordan border. But again, we are very cautious with figures for the obvious reason that as much as we try to continuously triangulate information, it's a very, very difficult exercise, particularly at, those at this stage, when of course the people that we rely on the ground, they are fleeing themselves. So that becomes something that is particularly difficult. As we are speaking, just 15 minutes ago, the information that we have from the Al Nasib Jabber border crossing is that we have a very low number of people that are still there. Around 150 to 200 people right now at the border in the free trade zone by Jabber, by Jabber Al Nasib. And as far as we understand, they are almost exclusively men. Over the weekend, UNICEF received report, reports that an entire family inside Syria was killed. This comes uh, to add to what we received in reports as 65 children who were killed uh, over the course of the three weeks as a result of the escalation and violence in, in South Syria. What we call for at the moment is for UNICEF and other UN agencies to be able to reach every child in need uh, with humanitarian assistance that is much needed through any modality possible, either across the lines of fire or uh, through Syria's borders.